My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, the place for you to find tips and tricks that you can use in your classroom. Today, I'm going to show you how you can remove all those blank lines in a Google Sheet. So let's start by opening up Google Sheets. Now, as you can see here, I have a number of names. These all have a year group and a house, but there are a number of blank rows there. So as you can see here, row three is a blank row, row five, seven, nine, and 11. Now I'm going to show you a number of different ways that you can get rid of these blank rows. Now, because this is a fairly small set of data, I can simply click on each of these individual rows, hold down my control key, and then I can highlight multiple rows all at the same time. Once I've done that, I can right click on this and I can choose to delete the selected rows. This will automatically remove these from my data set. Now this works great on small data sets or when you have a very limited range. However, when you look at a large set, as you can see here, we have a number of blank lines there, but we have over 900 rows. Manually going through these would be an absolute headache. So there are two things that we can do. The first is we can choose to first sort this range. So I'm going to select my column, go to the top where it says data, and then I'm going to sort my sheet and use column A. This will automatically sort it by name and then left at the bottom, that's where I will find my empty or blank rows. You can see all my blank rows are here. I can then select these scroll all the way up, hold down the shift key and delete them all at once. Delete these rows. This is one way we can do this. But again, as your spreadsheets get larger and larger, you want another way of deleting these rows. Now, it would be really helpful if we had it as part of our cleanup option or functionality within Google Sheets. So you can see here when I select my sheet at the top under data, I can have a data cleanup. So you can see here it removes duplicates, trim that white space before or after input or cells, but there is no option to remove blank rows or empty rows. Even on the cleanup suggestions, we cannot find the option to remove entire rows. So another thing you can do is to create a filter. So let's go ahead and select our first column, A. We're going to go to data and we're going to create a filter. This is now created a filter and by clicking on the icon right there next to student, I can find all the blanks. So I want to click on clear and then only select my blank rows. I'm going to click on okay. And now I have all the blank rows selected thanks to my filter. This again allows me to select them all, right click on it, and then I can delete the selected rows. Now that this has been completed, I go back to my filter and now I can just select all and show my remaining rows. This is incredibly useful because it means that you don't have to sort your sheet. If you want to keep your data in the order it is in, this will allow you to remove those blank rows without messing up the order. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe for even more tips and tricks and go ahead and click on the suggested video you see on screen now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.